All right, excellent. Well, welcome to today's free webinar on becoming a certified healer to live your true life purpose, everyone. So I trust you all as excited and passionate as I am to get started, um, especially a topic like this. So how's everyone feeling today? Roger, fantastic. Great to hear, Roger. Gay, great. Yep, great to hear, Gay. And Faye, excited and a bit tired. Yeah, um, excellent, Faye. And we can certainly lift um, that tired energy off um, with the clearing in this webinar. Fiona, tired but excited. Awesome, Fiona. Same thing. Um, we can certainly look after the tide thing. Um, on the clearing aspect of this webinar. All right. So now, without further ado, let's get started. We'll first come um, cover what you'll be learning today, starting with the well-known link between our spiritual and physical bodies. How to clear the source of sicknesses, disease, and poverty etherically or in the energetic body right before it manifests in the physical world and physical body to unlock and embody the blueprint of perfect health. Also, a clear examination of how blockages, self-sabotage, negative mental programming and energies hide in the unconscious mind and why most healers have absolutely no idea how to clear and shift these problems how to shield yourself and your clients from unhelpful or negative energies which are blocking the path to accessing higher dimensions and why knowing this is critical for healing humanity and the planet. The five practical steps for anyone to start a successful business as an etheric body healer to make good money doing what you love, serving and healing humanity without fear, guilt, stress or overwhelm. Why Ken Wilber, in his book, The Religion of Tomorrow, has predicted that etheric body healing will be the next medicinal revolution in humanity, i.e. the new medicine, the new way of the future. Why now is a time of massive opportunity to become an etheric healer and make some serious money in this time of crisis, economic collapse and awakening of this earth and of humanity? Now, here's my promise to you. So today's training will show you how to be a successful etheric body healer and generate a stable income by working as a certified healer. So um, this, this, pro, this webinar will show you how to be a successful one and get, getting you started, so to speak. At the end of this training, I will be making an exciting offer to attend a healing certification program to become a qualified healer by participating in the next revolution of medicine and being able to generate a consistent income from it. Now, even if you don't get this offer, I'm supremely confident that you will get tremendous value in this class today. Okay, so does this sound like you? We'll go through a few scenarios. One, you're, in, you're stuck in a job or business that you don't like. The second one, you're not doing what you love. Then three, you're not passionate about your current career and seeking to become a healer. Or four, you're committed to showing to doing something about it if someone can show you the way. So um, before we continue on, just type in the text chat, one, two, three, or four, whichever of those resonates with you the most for your current moment in time. Roger, five, interested. Awesome, Roger. Great to hear. And uh, Faye, um, four. Fiona, two. And Gay, yes, interested. Awesome. Well, great to see the interest peaking already. And, uh, Michelle, five. Okay, so quite a few fives here. Okay, so without further ado, um, so um, to quote Ray Raymond Grace, one of the healing mentors that I learned from, everything is energy and energy can be transformed. 
which is certainly true when it comes to energy clearing, especially. And uh, and uh, e even though we may all be different people with different personalities, physical appearances, and uh, we're in a world with like nature, with houses, and with businesses, a lot of these different things, you can guarantee they all have the same substance or component that they're made from, which is energy. And uh, all energy can be transformed. All right, so now we'll go a bit further. Can you relate to this? You have an unrelenting passion to serve the planet and humanity, activate the grids, and bring in the fifth dimensional ascension to Earth, or in other words, bringing heaven on Earth, so to speak. You're keen to be part of a new evolution of healing of the etheric body, as well as the physical body, while also activating the indigos or the higher starseed children. The third one, you're not doing what you truly love and you're committed to making a sustainable income while it's being able to fulfill your passion. So type a Y if you can relate. Faye, maybe I got the number wrong, interested in following my passion and being shown how to do it. Well, um, that's awesome, Faye. Yeah, and uh, okay, yeah, a few wise here. Roger, yes, too. Yeah, it, it certainly gets exciting the more you explore into this. All right, continuing on. I've now got a few questions for you. Do you hate your present career at this moment in time? Type a Y in the chat if so. Or type in N if not. Roger, no. Michelle, no. Gail, no. Moria, yep. Faye, I'm not working due to health reasons. Yeah, that, well, that's certainly not fun. And uh, cer certainly more important than ever to really get this clearing work going, right? And uh, Fiona, don't have one. And, the, and Michelle, I'm a body healer, so work more on the physical with people. So pretty interesting here. We've got a bit of a mix. Um, Pete, some of you are happy in your career, which is great. And one, we've got one that uh, isn't. Um, we've got a few that um, that aren't working currently. We've got even a healer here. So we've got quite a few of different scenarios. And uh, are you desiring an extra stream of income? Be passionate about healing people. Type Y in the chat, if so, for both of those questions. Michelle, certainly. Brilliant. Faye and Fiona, yep. Yeah. Moria, yep. Yeah. Okay, passionate about helping humanity. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a, and it's been a passion of mine, I can say, since I since I was brought into it really. And Christy, yep. Yeah. If so, we've got some great news for you. You you can actually become a certified healer. I mean, with all the craziness of issues such as mental health struggles, wars, the rising death rates happening each year, etc., as well as the rising costs of living every year, that really there's never been a better time than now. You couldn't have asked for a better time or opportunity than right now. So, Michelle, I've been healing bodies for 32 years and want to expand more so into the invisible energies. That's very smart, Michelle. Um, it, you do that, and you'll be a very you'll be a very powerful healer, and you'll have you'll have best of both worlds where you can help them to heal not just etherically but physically as well. And uh, as you can imagine, that's a pretty unique skill set. 
All right, so now what I'll do is just share a bit of my story and a bit about me. Now, growing up, it was I'll admit it wasn't the easiest um upbringing. I was a very I was very much a walking ball of pain and anger due to feeling devoid of love. Now, um, my parents, of course, not on purpose, but um, growing up, they were more like spiritual masters to me. But um, the mother and the father um type um type of energy, not so much. Which of course I didn't find out till I was older that they'd been through just as much and they were healing as well. And so then as I grew to understand it, then it made sense. And since then we've been able to work things out and really continue our healing and evolving journey, not just for ourselves, but with each other. And um, I also went to normal school until year eight. And my parents pulled me out of there due to the depression and suicidal thoughts I experienced by being there. And from, from there, that was where my journey of energy clearing actually begun. My father one day um, performed a clearing on me. He'd learned from Ed Stratcher in the Philippines, another healer. And um, that break set me free from my depression and suicidal thoughts. And ignited um, an unrelenting passion and excitement for this energy clearing work and right then and there I knew that that was what I wanted to do and that's what I was called for it was more than a life purpose for me it saved me my life as well and from there I was homeschooled and did my study and practice of energy clearing over the years from ninth to 11th grade and became a lot happier as you can imagine um, during the, that period, in year 10 to 12 particularly, I did busking in the Freo markets using card magic and selling magic products. I never needed to get a job. And then in my final year of schooling, I did certainly in business admin. I've even made an appearance on Today Tonight TV in 2017 through my business mentors at the time with my card busking business. What I do now is helping people to clear and shift their blockages, negative energy imprints, trauma, and transform their lives in all areas. I do that by not by not only teaching the spiritual and esoteric knowledge, but how to apply it and also the clearing sessions. So now we'll continue on, um, starting with what it takes to become a healer. Now, becoming a healer is not what most people think. The big problem that we have is many healers um, um, face um, a sense of not living their higher purpose for money reasons. And this has been a, a problem for centuries, just about. Well, the issues like conditioning, upbringing and society means that we're not often doing what we truly want to do. Instead, we end up doing a job or something our parents or society told us was the path to get ahead. So um, uh, e um, even if it pays well or a good job, whatever, as we can imagine, it's, it, it really isn't worth it if you're not truly ha happy there. You may desire to actually serve Earth and help humanity instead of being stuck in a day job or, so, or a career that you don't actually like. But without finances, of course, we become like a lame duck. Um, we end up in a job or doing things we don't truly want to be doing. And uh, when you're doing what you hate, this leaves you feeling trapped, stuck, miserable, frustrated, and out of purpose. Worst of all, out of alignment with universal law and going against your own truth and your own convictions. Now, as you can imagine, that's not the way source or God intended our life to be unless he was an absolute psychopath. Right now, there is an urgency to resolve our own personal karma as well as the karma of humanity to complete our mission and help to Earth ascend before things get much, much worse in these dark times we're in currently. There's a, there's a good reason that Earth and humanity is in the shit right now. We haven't exactly behaved ourselves over the centuries, especially with one another. Right now, there's a need to activate the grids on the planet so Earth can actually ascend to 5D, or in other words, the new Earth, which guys like Ken Wilber have been talking about. It's all hands on deck um, right now for light workers. The war between the sons of light versus the sons of darkness is underway, and it's increasing every year, as we've been seeing. 
through different means, such, such, such as COVID, of course, and then uh, businesses closing diet down, not being able to live, the um, ever-increasing cost of living, and then, then of course, um, prior, prioritising the money in the wrong places, amongst other issues and factors. The Bible even quotes, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. In other words, right now is not the time to be passive and sit back. It's time to be violent and exercise it and take what's rightfully yours. Ultimately, becoming a healer is actually a wonderful path, and uh, it's and it's one of one of the ones that you that really is a beautiful thing. That being said, you you may have all the skills in the world, be able to clear clear any um block it blockages from just about anybody you could even be the humanity's next version of jesus himself and do miracles even greater than him but and i emphasize this if you haven't learned to make money from your healing and have a business mind then you will inevitably be forced into a job doing something you hate to make income to meet your daily needs Sad, sadly of course this is all too common for a lot of healers Say I didn't think violence was the answer. So, like anything, it depends on the context. Obviously, if you're totally driven by violence and hatred, then it's a problem because as when when you give in to violence, it only breeds to more. What 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 it's more referring to is like a metaphor, where where basically energy clearing is not just passive and sitting on your ass. Energy clearing is also practical. And it means that energy clearing is also blunt and doesn't put up with shit. So it means that as well as clearing um, the energy energetically, we also need to clean it up um, in the physical world too. And uh, well, the, um, ultimately, the best way that we can do that is being guided by the higher beings as to the best course of action to take. It's like anything, knowing when to fight and when not to fight. So for a time, for example, during COVID, me and my father were doing um, clearing work on our region, on our state, and we were actually keeping COVID relatively out. But um, one, one day we were called to actually do nothing and to not fight, and that it needed to happen for a short period before we could um, um, commence again. Sure enough, it wasn't long after that they um, enforced the vaccine mandates, which they never had done that before. Before um, we we stopped our energy work, but um, but but then uh, we've also had moments where we've been called to intercede and to fight and go hard. Hopefully, that makes sense. Faye, so basically, it's taking action. That's correct. Yes. We take we take action because well uh, the way I like to think of it is like um find finding an object for example well like for example if you lost your keys the, the last thing you're gonna do is sit around and hope it's gonna jump and spring onto your lap from the sky because obviously that's not gonna happen it, unless you get off that couch and look for it and eventually find it well then it's not gonna turn up is it. So um, um, that and that's how it works in the physical world. Nothing happens unless we actually take action. This is actually why the dark occult have been able to take over the world, for example. Now that, of course, is a whole different topic in itself. But to sum it up, um, these guys know full well that it's not just energy clearing spiritually for them to be able to run the world. They also took it in business in the government political offices, the medical system, and the education system, and basically weaving a web almost. So um, yes, um, energy clearing is love, but it's also strength, a balance of both, like anything. The, the, main, the main issue is to make sure that you're not, in, you're not take, um, operating in one over the other. So, um, ultimately, many people are stuck in jobs that they hate and don't know how to break out of it. They don't know they don't know how to run their healing as a legitimate business. And what's even worse is when they use outdated modes of healing, which don't work. And apart from leaving people with a good feeling, sort of like watching an uh, Netflix movie 
or eating popcorn. So that the zone you enter after you watch a Netflix movie, it doesn't fix the problem the client came to them for. It, they only put a band-aid on it, um, meaning it helps the symptoms, but not the cause. So the sad reality is many gifted healers are stuck doing jobs that they really don't like. Money to, tends to pose a real challenge for them in becoming a healer as an actual profession. And it does. It also doesn't help that the world still has, um, still is a bit iffy on this subject. Here's why: money obviously must come from someone, and the well, that healers will end up stuck in a job that they hate with absolutely no time to be able to master their healing craft and put their dedication and commitment into that. This um uh, this leaves them um feeling exhausted with little to no energy left. This obviously is what happens when you're in a job that you hate. It drains your energy instead of lifts it. Even if they don't have that problem, they may not be sure where to start to make healing a legitimate profession and how to actually make it happen. Why is that? Well, I'm um, simply because they don't have any real business background. And have either dabbled in it very little or not at all. And, that, and this, of course, means that they have no idea how to get clients, how to structure their business, or how to make money. So, my question to you is how would you like to be on the cutting edge of a new revolution? Type a Y in the chat if so. Gay Y, Roger, yeah, Michelle, yeah. All right, excellent. Great to see um, everyone really keen to this. Okay, brilliant. Let's continue on. Um, and participate in the new revolution in its early stages as well. I'm sure that you've wondered what it would be like to be part of something new in the early stages, right? Like be the founder of a new network marketing or be on the cutting edge of a new investment rather than always being late to the party, so to say. Now, this is where um, the good news comes in. You do have that opportunity here now. Etheric medicine, as Ken Wilber says, is the next phase of evolution for humanity with healing. Um, as as yet, it is still relatively new. It's much more mainstream than it was, say, 30, 40 odd years ago, but it's still relatively new. Not only that, it's still by and large unregulated. Physical and mental health, even supplements, is very highly regulated. As we've seen, uh, it, re um, it really isn't easy. And uh, um, so um, it really um, isn't easy, like, in the physical mental health because of how regulation regulated it is we, where you need to, of course get degrees where you need to be on um, very line in the legal system whereas with this it's still by and large unregulated more free so um this is where you can ensure that you're part of the new thing in the early stages so that way you can be on the cutting edge of the etheric medicine revolution which is hitting the planet right now now, I'm sure that um, you don't want to miss the opportunity, um, as we've seen how keen you guys are already, because once it's taken off, it will be too late. It won't be the same as it was. The best roles and, and, and money offers will be snapped up. In other words, you'll end up having to wait in line in the queue. It may even be government regulated by then. So this is your chance, your unique one, to be an opportunity, part of this, of something new and significant and a pioneer in the next evolution of medicine right before everyone else catches on to how good it truly is. You don't, and you don't want to miss out by procrastinating or putting it off. Right now, you have the chance to be part of something new and pretty much name your price type of situation. As you can see, I'm really emphasizing the importance of this. You, there really is no better time to get in on the ground floor than right now. Now, the, these are a few things that the etheric medicine involves. Fixing up tears in the aura, 
healing golden web tears in your aura, clearing mind control implants and energetic seals, removing curses, hexes, spells, clearing energies picked up from other people, releasing past lives, parents, ancestral karma. These are just a few of the of the um, benefits that etheric medicine provides. Now, um, who loves this idea? Um, who loves that idea of being able to do all these and a lot more? I'll just type a Y in the chat if so. Excellent. This is awesome. Okay, so now let's explore further into this new breed of medicine. Now, uh, for centuries, the focus of Western medicine was focused on healing our physical bodies and what's going on there. However, in recent years, etheric medicine, that is, dealing with imprints, spears or wounds in the etheric body, has been recognized as a very powerful way to heal beyond your physical body and far more effective. Once upon a time in the Western world, medicine, of course, focused on healing the physical body, which we do need that, of course. We do. We can't ignore or disregard the physical body. But in recent times, we have seen a greater awareness on mental health, psychology, and mind-body science. When you combine this with healing the physical body, as you can imagine, you're, you, you're on the right path to perfect health or the blueprint of perfect health. Well, so what we can officially say is the wisdom of the shamans is now in the West. These guys have been ahead of their time for centuries. And Ken Wilber, in his book, The Religion of Tomorrow, and Dr. Venus Williams, the author of PhD thesis, on how etheric tears, wounds, and past life imprints manifest in the physical body, um, that, so they, they predict that the next phase of religion will be the growth of etheric medicine. The, you also have Dr. Alberto Bellardo, an Amazon shaman who has made similar predictions. Since the early 2000s, we've seen mental health and mind-body-spirit connection become much more recognized. Psychologists and mental health assistants became more widely accepted mainstream. And these days, um, if someone is there, you won't kind of, um, it won't be like a, um, a taboo topic or gray area, but something that's um, normal. And meanwhile, etheric medicine has been developing quietly in the background. And now we've seen a rapid growth in the last 20 years of practitioners or healers who use machines. For example, avatar and infoceuticals which specialize in scanning the frequencies of the etheric body to see imprints or other blockages which are about to enter the physical world and actually be seen in your body. Mm -hmm. So um, this means basically that um, if you clear it etherically, you can actually prevent the disease or illness from manifesting physically. You can actually get ahead of it and keep your health in top shape. Howard Hoxie, actually, in the 1930s, was healing cancer using such devices. We are seeing an explosion of healers who know how to repair the etheric or auric body. It's not as, it's not as unusual as it was once at, at once upon a time. However, this is still a relatively untapped area full of um, amazing and unique opportunities for those who are on the cutting edge. Like we said before, you want to be part of the etheric medicine evolution in the early stages because, um, as you can imagine, it's expensive to do a normal medical degree. You may um, have to also go to medical school or naturopathic university. On top of that, you may even need therapeutic goods licensing to provide any supplements or homeopathic. Now, we all know that doing that, taking this path is years' worth. It will take you years to um, achieve that. You also have to get licensed to do a healing profession or being a psychologist and looking over your shoulder, hoping that you're, you're not caught if you don't. 
But once you undertake a normal type of healing profession, unfortunately, this makes you like everyone else in a box and competing with them as well, which adds another difficult component. Let's, so let's now explore what I meant by resolving etheric imprints. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, mani I'm manifesting physically. Now, what do I mean about anything unresolved or not dealt with etherically will manifest in our physical body? Let's explain and explore. If the imprint is not cleared from the etheric body by energy healing, homeopathics, or some other means, inevitably it will result in disease, illness, accident, injury, etc., or something catastrophic. Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life, actually gives a lot of insight into this area. Now, she shared, um, she shared her own example that, in her case, cancer was caused through lots of resentment, self-loathing, and self-hatred. She even gave a long list of illnesses and the metaphysics of how it all worked. Um. Uh, so um so um um so there's also do a list from her website, so she actually has it. So um for example, like um pain on your legs is around not moving forward or walking your true path if you're having issues there, and then asthma um for example is um and Bill McRae actually um was an example um shared this before the smothered um a smothered child type of case where every time a mother would bring her children uh, or child to, to Bill McRae for healing on asthma, the, all he would say is, give me the mother for three months and the child will be cured. Sure enough, it worked every time without fail because he was able to link um, to link um, the, the, ch the, the child feeling smothered by their mother. And uh, so then, of course, that suffocates them internally, which manifests externally. Yeah, and uh, so Warren's actually here right now, my father, and he just commented that we healed my asthma when I was three, helping my mum to heal of grief. Sure enough, it fixed within 24 hours. And uh, I'll never forget, forget that story. It 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 Because it is true. I From that day forth, I never experienced some um, real asthma trouble. And then it, but then you also have issues like back pain, which which is all, all around support. For example, like if you're not not feeling supported, not getting enough support, especially financially or from or in other areas of life. Moria, uh, can we locate and remove any or and all hidden or unknown sabotage or targeting mechanism targeting mechanisms that throw your life? into non-existence um absolutely we we definitely can can locate and clear any and all hidden or unknown sabotage as you can imagine um it won't happen overnight but um in, in a lot of cases there are some where it does but that would be like a miracle type of um healing where someone is really ready for it otherwise um you can't you can use the healing techniques to um locate and remove them each day so like for example i clear myself three times a day now that would be a lot for most people but because it's part of what i do in my career then i need to but um for most people um one uh, clearing yourself at least once a day is good enough and that, but and if you find that to be a little too much, especially since clearing brings a lot of skeletons out the closet, that's where you can reduce it to every few days or so and slowly build it up to um clearing more regularly. So um, it, this the the healing journey is not a one off; it's a constant um progress and evolution, and basically improving and growing each day. So um in a nutshell, you can't you can locate and remove any of those sabotages or issues. But um ult but ultimately um you do it day by day, one one bit at a time. And that Warren just made a good comment here that Dr. John Sano's work shows that ninety-eight percent of back pain is a result of emotional stresses 
which are locked in the body and which need to be released. Then you also have neck pain, which, which of course, which talks about um, um, the ability to be able to see back there. Meaning if you're experiencing pain in your neck, then something is being a pain in your neck, which you're not acknowledging and being stubborn about. <clears throat> Andrew, what about mental illness? A uh, friend has severe depression and anxiety and heavily medicated. So um so in that in that example, Andrew, what if she um if she has um depression, he or she, um uh, has severe depression and anxiety then it would be a combination of two things. So depression has been linked to living in the past. That meaning that you're not you're that you're unhappy because you haven't healed from issues that you experienced in the past. Whether it be trauma, um, a blow up with a friend or family, losing everything, could um different things like those. Then anxiety, according to Louise Hay, um means that that's that they wouldn't be trusting the process of life. And it means that, like, they overthink too much and they need to basically take a chill pill and um, be able to breathe. It means they need to get their breathing in order. And so that, that obviously is not the only thing, but that would be one of the main components, for example. And then Janet, the divided mind, Dr. John Sarno. Yep. Mm, absolutely. Then Andrew, yeah, definitely trapped in his own mind in the past, traumas, etc. Very difficult, though. <clears throat> oh yeah, definitely. Like it's extremely difficult if you don't if you don't know this type of clearing and if you haven't healed from it. But um, now um, of course, like um, it's not it's never easy to be able to face our skeletons in the closet, especially trauma, and especially if it was very severe. But um, but ultimately, um, like anything, though, anyone can overcome it if they if they're willing to work on it and put the time and the commitment required to resolve that the problem. And then eczema, um, so i in which I have actually experienced myself, um, means that uh, means mental eruptions, and the um very deep inner conflict, meaning that like or in other words, meaning that you're not aligned, you're off track, and you need to get back on the right path. And then, then you have the gallbladder or liver, and that, has, that, that one has been linked to deep rage, particularly towards the father. So um, an example here is, so um, Warren's here, as we said, and Warren has had his own experience with um, uh, gallbladder issues, which needed to be healed. And then, then, of course, I mentioned my issue with eczema, and my brother James also had eczema, which needed to be healed. Um, and so did um, Ed and Joe, my other two brothers. So, um, so um, now, here's, now the issue is, of course, without finances and um, without resources, like we said, it makes us a lame duck and a slave to work. Being in business as a healer is very different to being a healer. I'll explain what I mean. Being in business as a healer. So the hard truth is you could be the best business, the best healer in the world. But if you have no idea how to build a business, get clients and make sales and, and, also, and structure it properly, you'll make little to no money. So as Michael Gerber teaches in the E-Myth book, being a business entrepreneur is very different to being a technician. This means that running a business as a healer is very different to being a healer. It requires skills, knowledge, and commercial acumen. It is a whole skill in itself to sell your skills as a healer to generate income. Now, before we continue on, um, what I'll get you to do is type in the text chat which um, disease or illness that you've struggled with in the past. Um, and, and if you uh, have any sense or idea as to why it's happened. Say, um, um, rheumatoid arthritis, undigested anger and resentment. 
Yes, and that that's close enough. That's what Louise Hay has said. She that and the, when it comes to that one arthritis, it, it's uh, the anger and resentment desire to punish someone. Then Warren asthma, back pain, neck pain, digestive issues, gallbladder, RSI, fibromyalgia, mental health. I've made it a hobby in the past, lol. Um, um, I've now fixed all of that. And that and that's and that's actually very inspiring, Warren. I mean, sometimes I actually don't think I forget how much of um you've actually experienced and um all of those different um the diseases or illnesses which most people would have given up on. And then Fiona CF, Hashimoto's a brief now fire my older and Warren severe arthritis too. And Chris, the thyroid, digestive, fertility, in, inability to speak out. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Then digestive, of course, that would be linked to not digesting emotions or issues properly. And Andrew, eczema, but not anymore since I got off gluten and sugars for the most part. Yeah, that's brilliant, Andrew. And actually, that's what I did for a while. Um, um, I cut my gluten intake for a while, and it, it helped me to clear my eczema. I used um, I used certain diets and foods in conjunction with the clearing, which helped me to heal it. We'll now continue on. Now, there's a huge difference being in business as a healer in comparison to just being a healer. Now, here's why. Um, like we said earlier, you can be a brilliant healer, the best in the world even, but hopeless at running a business as a healer. Simply put, healer just means that you're healing people. If you're just being one, you're only healing people. But being in business as a healer means that you're running a legitimate business as a healer or a healing business or practice. This is why many healers are broke. Now, but being in business requires you to be able to do um, perform a, um, a multitude of tasks, like getting clients, being out, getting them to buy from you, setting the right price, bringing the money in, accounting for it, investing it, and also, and the most important thing, keep it going sustainably and consistently, not just short term but long term as well. So that brings the next question: what What's the next step? Now, when it comes to mastering healing, um, money flows in proportion to the value that you give. In other words, well, it's the universal law of reciprocity or fair exchange. So um, as you can imagine, if, if you're a healer and you're broke or making little money, it means somewhere along the lines you're not putting out enough value to the world to be able to manifest more. Like for example, now um, um, even although um he's not a healer, um Bill Gates of course um has, is a billionaire from uh, Microsoft. Now why do you think that would be? Well, because obviously while it's not healing, so to speak, um what well I'm um, thinking about um all of us here that I mean I'm I'm sure that all of us or most of us use Microsoft, and it and it solved um a world a worldwide problem. So as you can imagine, um, whether you like the guy or not, he's earned every penny of what he's made from that. So in other words, the universe is unique. It doesn't go by right or wrong, good or bad. It, it, it only goes by who's following the laws and, and whether or not you're putting out the value. It doesn't, it doesn't give a fuck about like um, your current moment in time, what you've been through, any of that. All it cares about is in whether you're putting the value out there. And Faye is reframing um related um, re related to limiting beliefs. So I'm um, sorry, Faye. Um, could you um uh, clarify for me? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by reframing. So what? While I wait for for your reply, um, Maury, uh, that's a challenge. If you're empty yourself and feeling like you have nothing left to give, 
um, it can be like that. But um, if you if you're empty in yourself, well, then it means that you're not loving yourself, and that well, the truth is, everyone has something that to give, whether it's big or small, medium or any size. There's there's always something that we can give out and and make a difference to people in the world. But in order to do that, we need to be able to give it to ourselves. Or in other words, you need to love yourself first and you need to be in the right mind frame before you go out and do the healing and put it out to the world. Um, other, otherwise, of course, you're not only you're not being an example, but you're also um, bringing your stuff in, um, onto the people and to the world and into the consciousness. So ultimately, the only way we can truly feel empty is when we're not giving ourselves enough love, not giving ourselves enough value. So, okay, limited beliefs, Warren mentioned reframing. I have got it. So you're just um, talking, Warren, that makes sense. Now, in order to receive large amounts of money to perform clearings and etheric healing, you need to be the best in the world and a master in the new medicine. In order to master this new wave of medicine, it first starts with auric clearing. Now, much much like piano is the foundational instrument for um for um, musical instruments, auric clearing is the foundation of energy clearing work. Now, auric clearing simply means clearing the auric field and healing etheric tears. So, well, mastery of auric clearing is the gateway to becoming a world-class healer on the cutting edge of the new revolution of etheric medicine. So rather than being ordinary and just like everybody else, you can be part of something new and at the cutting edge. Imagine this, um, on being, being getting trained by not just healers, but by people with significant business experiences. Um, so... Warren, of course, is a former accountant, lawyer, financial planner. So you learn the skills to turn it into business or turn it into money. And like, so there's, that's the beauty of it, being able to learn from people like Warren or myself. So obviously I haven't done the accounting or any of that, but I do, I'm, I do have experience to a certain degree. And then uh, let's now look deeper into auric clearing. So we'll start with your chakras. We, um, now, um, type a Y in the chat if you have um, a, an understanding of chakras, even if it's basic. All right, brilliant. We'll continue on. So um, when it come when it comes to our chakras, they that these are like our energy centers, um, which means that that's where the, um our energy, the universal energy, flows through. Um, so as you can imagine, it, when they're clear and um, we can we can do truly great things with them, and these are ultimately what are keeping us alive, as that's where the energy flows through. Well, that's why we get scenarios where you could have someone who just eats like absolute shit, like fast food all the time um, and drink drinks like a fish or smokes like a chimney and they can live up to 90 years old or so. But then equally, you can have someone who exercises regularly and eats and drinks very well, doesn't drink, smoke or do any of that, but yet drop dead after 60 odd years and die early. That's why you get those type of problems. Um, uh, simply because um, it it all comes down to our chakras, our energy centers. And each of these have a different meaning, as you can imagine. the The first chakra it represents survival, at, um, especially at the basic level. The second one represents sexuality and creativity. The third one represents the um self power, self esteem. The fourth one, love and trust. And then the fifth one, um, communication, speaking your truth. The sixth one, your awareness and clarity. clarity. Seventh one uh, is um, your connection to the cosmic realms. And then uh, that you also have eight morphogenetic chakras as, as well, which exist in your etheric body. 
Moria, what about the belief in remo in removing the known chakra system and activating the three mind system? Um, are you familiar with this? Um, uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'll be honest. So I've never heard of that removing the known chakra system because, well, the truth is we couldn't even if we tried because these these are literally a part of us or it is us, so to speak. Um, but well, the most important thing is to make sure it's not blocked, but also that it's not overactive either. So where it it's open and it's flowing, but where it's not in 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 its in its its extremes. Now, auric clearing is another word word for etheric healing. Your auric field is your energetic or your light body, your or your spiritual one. Now, we all know about the physical body, but yet at the spiritual and energetic level, we have many different energetic layer bodies, as you saw on that image just before. Now, when we become aware of this, we, we realize just how much we need to clear the blockages and attachments which reside there. Um, our energetic bodies are ultimately what help us to perform supernatural, uh, supernatural abilities, such as um, astral traveling, ac um, accessing God, source, being omnipresent, and um, ultimately ascending, etc. Unfortunately, on the planet, too many people aren't even aware that they have an energetic body. It's becoming more mainstream, of course, but by and large, still not enough people know about it. Most people on the planet are also blocked in the auric field by other issues like karmic blockages, attachments, demons, etc. Now, auric attachments are energetic blockages and entities which exist inside your auric field or your etheric body, which also means they exist in your 15 chakras depending on what the trauma or issue is and what topic it resides around. There are many different types of attachments we have, which can be barbs, hooks, webs, Fires, demons, etc. And as you can imagine, auric attachments cause a lot of problems when they're not cleared. Now, now clearing auric attachments is critical if you desire to have quality relationships, more money, accessing higher realms and dimensions, etc. The major problem is when they're not cleared, let alone being made aware of, they make you sick, broke, attract unwanted money experiences, etc. So um uh, now the, these are the different um these are um a few examples of one um, what of what auric attachments are. So first you've got id. Now um we'll explain each of these in a quick summary. Now id ids are like a soul fragment which um which is created when you experience trauma, like you walk home to your partner cheating on you, you lose everything in your business, losing your job or um, different issues like those. Um, where you, um, what happens is you, when you literally freeze in that moment in time, and then the trauma and the pain cuts so deep that a literal soul fragment of you um, fragments and uh, then a hardened and a darker version replaces it. Then you've got occupants. So these are like soulless thought forms which think they own you, that they own your body. So much like the ids, they're created when you experience trauma or major illness, disease, or any anything of that kind. But the difference here is occupants are created if you have an emotional charge about something. Like let's say, for example, that um some that um, a family member yelled at you for no reason, and uh, then you were angry at them, but you didn't um talk to them and deal with that problem. What can then happen is the more that you think about it and the more charged up you feel, you'll just um, you'll just get angrier and angrier the more you think about it. Then one day it goes from a negative thought to a negative thought form. So where that blockage comes in. And then you have wormholes and portals. So these are created when you take on or and absorb the energy of somebody else as if it's your own. And so but the different the difference is here is that portals more suck the energy out of you so um, and and leaves you um, experiencing problems like depression low energy um un, uh, unfulfillment unhappy unhappiness 
um, whereas the wormholes um, is like a doorway for dark entities to feed off your energy through. And uh, then, then, then you also have the discardists, which are beings that have died but who haven't passed through. Um, um, or in other words, they're, they're souls who don't inhabit a body. And until they're shown uh, um, the way to get to where they need to go, they'll end up um, attaching to someone like a friend or family member um, who has a similar energy to them and feed off of them like food. And then you have the personalities. Um, these are like the shadow cells of the ids, or like what 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 create because what creates after the ids form. Once the ids form, then the personalities um create themselves in there. So that's that's why you can have someone who was once a very happy and bright person go to someone who's cold and just bit off um a shell of their former self. <laughs> And then, and then the archetypes is like an auric attachment or blockage, which, which go, which goes back to um to something experienced from say like an early age or in, in in something in your past or even in a past life, like um well, like for example, Toby Alexander, my mentor, shared it shared a story about um a session that he had with this um with this woman who basically needed to heal an archetype which um um the, which was grief um from losing her mum at an early age which of course was playing out um which was play which would have been playing out it could have been different things like anger or um projecting that out to other people um unfulfillment within different issues like that basically what happens is when you have an archetype it will um, color of the reality for you so for example if you have um, unresolved issues with your parents like your mother then you'll end up um, the archetype in there will attract people like your mother or your mother back into your life until you resolve the problem um, internally now just type in in the text chat which of these you feel like you have right now so um um out of ids all the way to the discardants. Um, Moria, um, are you still working with Toby? I thought he dropped out of touch with folks years ago. Um, no, not anymore. Um, I'm talking about when I learned from him years ago. Then Faye Ids, Andrew Ids, and yeah, not really surprising, especially with how common Ids tend to be. And then Fiona, Ids, personalities, archetypes. Christy, Ids, archetypes. So quite a few Ids here. Then archetype, a couple of archetypes. All right, so continuing on. Now, um, let's discuss auric tears. Now, what an auric tear is, is a tear or fracture in your auric field. This is caused by auric attachments, which eventually manifest into our physical re reality. Here's what I mean. Portals, for example, would manifest with depression, low energy, chronic fatigue, health problems, etc. Mm. And then occupants would manifest whatever is going on in your thought process. And then and then it and then it then it's of course like would manifest in your personality who you are. Um as an example, if you've had several losses around money investments, you can guarantee that there's etheric problems there as well. 
Similarly, if you have auric attachments or tears or imprints in your liver, your gallbladder or pancreas, you will inevitably manifest a health disorder in these type of organs. In other words, nothing you do in the physical world will work until you fix it etherically. And then you have auric tears around money. Now, as an example, if you've had several losses around money, you can guarantee it's etheric, as we just as we said previously. Now, here's what I mean. Let's just say you were swindled by someone badly and lost a whole lot of money from it. That auric tear could, around it could be from a past life where you did it to someone else. Or if you grew up in a family who feared money and went to uni and had normal jobs, there may be voices of, I can't afford it. You have to work hard to make money. Money doesn't grow on trees. Amongst others, um, can play out and cause the losses. That brings the next question. How do you clear auric tears? In order to clear auric attachments, you do what's called an auric clearing. This is where it comes in. An auric clearing is a clearing which focuses specifically on clearing the auric field or energetic body. During the session, we scan the multidimensional light body. The auric clearing uses scalar language, energy directing techniques, and sacred um, codes to communicate with your higher self and subconscious mind to permanently clear attachments. And that and now, um, that I've uh, I've had people ask before if um attachments or blocks can come back. The truth is, they um they can't. Once they've been cleared, then they can't come back. But what can happen is you can create new ones. And that's where the regular clearing and mindfulness comes in. And what then happens is you will receive golden soul fragments, which were lost from past lives, as well as this current one. At the end of the session, we also do a download for your higher self to give new chords, new templates, and new soul programming. What then happens next is you will have a high frequency and your reality will change by being able to attract things, places, times, events, and people that resonate with your new higher frequency. Now, um, mastering healing also requires um, to clear ids, repairing um, id tears in the aura, clearing discarnates and voices in your head, closing portals and wormholes, restoring golden soul fragments. These are um, a few of the benefits and the factors that have happened with auric clearing. Now, here's the beauty of learning auric clearing is um, you can easily become a certified healing master. Anybody could if they put the time, the commitment, the dedication to do it. Um, of course, um, uh, you must also learn to shield yourself and your clients from unhelpful energies blocking them from accessing higher dimensions and this and I can help you to do this now now we'll go through some testimonials of a few people that have worked with me personally the first one is Dr Shelby Atchison from Canada and in fact um uh, uh, now some of you may or may not remember but I I even did a collaboration with her um a couple of years ago for Aurea clearing and manifestation as she's actually an energy um, clearer herself um but when when she worked with me um so she shared that her heart rate and variability went from an average of 54 to 81 and wanted it, the number to be as close to 100 as possible then her heart rate also lowered from a weekly average of 54 to 50 so um she of course loved seeing the objective numbers applied to energy work the next one is Ashton Jane from Queensland. Now, um, now before talking with me, um, she'd never even heard of etheric clearing before, but she got curious um, after uh, we had a call about it and when she was seeking to have some sessions with me. So she then, of course, signed up for um, some one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, especially at that stage her family had gone through massive shifts as well and she wasn't sure how they were going to come out of it. Then, after the four sessions, she gradually became calmer, less reactive to situations, and handled stress a lot better, and was also able to feel a lot more grounded, not wanting to run away from the world as much. 
then over time, she noticed that manifesting things became a lot easier and coherent. Life seemed a lot less chaotic, more in flow. Then it also brought her family stronger together and it, and it brought the fabulous feeling. So she, of course, loved the sessions and uh, she, her partner, Jesse, also um, did some sessions with me, which benefited him as well. And then the last one, Sheldon Ryder from British Columbia. Now he was now he actually was on one of my first clients, and he he was first introduced to me by Warren five years ago. So over the years, he's done um just about every course I've done and some one on one sessions, and he's um uh, he's also mentioned I've helped him immensely on problems that the medical society couldn't. He is the real deal, genuine that he wouldn't hesitate to recommend me to anyone that I've um that with any issue that I have. Okay, so now before we get into the clearing, um are there any questions? So Moria, are there any other soul fragments besides the um, golden ones? Um yes, um that would be the ids. So the golden fragments, that's our real soul. And then the ids, of course, is the darker aspect which creates from trauma. All right. Um, uh, no questions or comments from anyone? No? All right. Well, um, uh, we'll, we'll get started then. And uh, what I'll what I'll do is switch off my camera just for the moment to remove um all distractions away from the clearing. Um, so what we're going to be doing here, just to give you all an idea, what will what I'll be giving you here is a sample um of um auric clearing or like a taster, where where we'll clear the um the first two chakras. And uh, so we'll focus on doing auric clearing in the first two chakras and then continue on from there. So is everyone happy with that? All right, brilliant. So we'll now get started. And everyone just focus on this Tribeca code here and inhale it to the first two chakras of your body and just close your eyes. Get yourself comfortable. Now, um, what I want you to do is um, start taking deep breaths to relax your mind by inhaling through your nose for a count of four. Holding it for a count of four. And exhaling through your mouth for a count of eight. Inhaling through the nose for a count of four. Holding it for a count of four. And exhaling through the mouth for a count of eight. And just continue your breathing. What we'll do now is set up the ritual for um to a protective space and to clear out any negative entities I'm trying to sabotage. We now call upon the golden vortex and the spinning tornado going clockwise. And the bright white crystalline pyramid surrounding me and each person here. Thank you. 
We call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary and Babaji, only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, unhelpful entities, or anything else related to be fully cleared out now. And we give love, thanks, and gratitude to all beings that are currently present. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that the Triveca code be used to clear to clear any ids or occupants from each person here in their first chakra around survival. And we, we also clear any archetypes or personalities from that. And also clear any clearing any um the ids or occupants or archetypes from the second chakra around the around their sexual energy and the creative energy and the money consciousness. And we now bring back the golden soul fragment for, for each person here in the first and second chakra. We also remove any discarded by providing a third or escort contain them if they resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. Close off any portals or wormholes in to other astrals, dimensions, beings, or lifetimes permanently now to Asia in today. Just continue your breathing. Clearing any tension or pressure from their from their bodies in the spiritual and physical. We now rebalance each person here in all areas of their life or in the golden liquid light 
and send in the love from the higher mother and father. Infuse each person here with the divine love and higher frequencies. And the self-love and self-care justly earn now. Okay, so um, when you're ready, you can open your eyes and just share in the text chat um, what you experienced and how you're feeling after the clearing. Fiona grounded lighter. That's excellent, Fiona. Certainly great to be in our body. Faye, lighter, relaxed. I saw myself holding a baby. What does that mean? That's certainly open to interpretation. I mean, it could mean a multitude of things. It could mean like you're that you're rebirthing. It could mean like maybe um a baby in your life, like a niece or nephew, someone like that. Um, best thing would be to tune into it and let the answer come to you. I'm kind of explicitly still. Awesome, Janet. And Andrew felt some shifts and waves of energy. Excellent, Andrew. And Moria, and I feel lighter, totally relaxed, and felt energetic bombardment stop completely. Yeah, um, that certainly happens very quickly um, when you get into this clearing work and do it regularly. Gay feeling lighter. Then Christy, a reduction in a headache. Brilliant. That's brilliant, Christy. Brilliant, Gay. Fay rebirth or grandchild. Mm. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, so um, certainly would be worth looking into, Faye. And, um, Theo, thank you, William. It was very intense. Yeah, no worries, Theo. Um, uh, yeah, um, it certainly does get like that. All right, so... um. Yep, Trent, lighter, refreshed, calm, brilliant Trent. And then Michelle, I experienced awarenesses of higher frequency and energies. Mm, that and That's the other major thing too. The more you clear up, the more sensitive and aware you become of frequencies and energies. Not just your own, but the people around you and the environment. And then Faye, my mood has improved. Yeah, um, that'll that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. The clearing certainly do that. All right, so everyone now just take a glass of water to help you integrate that clearing. Okay, so. Are there any questions or comments before we move to the next steps of this webinar? Andrew, will it work in the replay? Um, uh, yes, it will. Um, so once the replay is available, the, um, you can access it anytime you want and you can watch the clearing whenever you want. So um, yes, it'll still work either way. Great, yeah, brilliant. No questions? Uh, all right, we'll now proceed to the next steps of the webinar. Um, okay, Michelle, can I ask William what you sense from us? Like so, um, uh, um, do you mean like um, everyone here as a collective? Is that what you mean? Type of why? If so, all right. Yep, brilliant.
yeah. So um, ultimately, ultimately, um, the the main so the the main the main sense that um I that I got if I tuned into you guys. So of course now you guys are um are, are definitely a bit um are definitely better than before the clearing. But the main the main sense that I've been getting is that well that a lot of you here are curious now I'm I'm, I'm curious about this etheric um clearing and uh, especially how to turn it into a business and a career. So um, ultimately, it's about self empowerment and training people to learn to tune in to themselves and to others. So um that's what I that's what I can do. I can tune in, get the sense. But ultimately, the best way that you can really learn to is also by tuning in to yourself and others. You can even practice it. But yes, the main sense that I I got was the curiosity, especially turning it in, into a career, and also um and just a lot of like tiredness and feeling a bit like dragged down before, which has picked up. I've I've noticed since the clearing, but. That's the other thing I noticed, and just a lot of different health issues um, that, that either currently dealing with or from the past. All right, we'll now proceed to the next steps of the webinar. So we'll now dis um, we'll now discuss the offer that I said that I was going to offer at the end here. Yeah, no worries, Michelle. So I hope that made sense. Um, uh, so what we're offering here is an auric clearing healing certification program where you, where you can really gain the unfair advantage and rig the game so that the odds are always in your favor. Mm. So um, everyone here has been listening to me for well over an hour. You've heard my results, my personal ones, and hopefully by now you know what I've thought can help you. So you now can see why I believe that my system for becoming a master certified healer and accessing the infinite information of the universe based on proven, tested, credible scientific methods, as well as my own personal experience, is one of the greatest abilities known to man for clearing and shifting blockages and diseases in the etheric body right before they manifest physically and also being able to make a stable income from it. You've also seen the results of how everyday people, just like you guys, have learned my step-by-step -step auric clearing, healing certification system or similar, and are now using it for their own health and well-being. So if you'd like to let me help you implement my blueprint into your life too, I would be very delighted to help you out. So here's the best way that I know how. Now, who here wants me to hold their hand and teach them everything I know about becoming a more successful master healer by knowing how to clear any blockage, disease, or illness from the etheric body while also being handsomely paid for it? Okay, Moria. So type a Y in the chat if so. Then Moria, why did the opening screen have a picture of Raymond Grace? Are you working with him as well? Um, uh, no, I'm not, not at the moment. But um, years ago, I, he, I learned from him as well. He was one of my um several mentors I learned from with this healing work. And I, um, I put the picture there um to go along with the quote that I put. And so Moria said, yeah, Michelle, yes. Okay, brilliant. A um, couple people. Excellent. Then Gay, yeah. Okay, excellent. Mm, I truly believe that the ability to become a certified master healer and doing it successfully from the comfort of your own home is one of the most powerful, liberating or freeing forces known to man for ordinary people to be set free from any etheric blockages and create and the life that they want by knowing how to perform clearings and making a big difference to humanity and to the world. And uh, it, 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 and this is where it continues to get exciting. 
Um, so I'm a, well, we're now introducing you um, to the Auric Clearing Healing Certification Program. This is where you can learn the exact method that I use to do Auric Clearings and gain an unfair advantage in clearing health challenges and a lot more. What you experienced with that free clearing was just a taste of. Just imagine how much more that you could really do by learning the full um by learning the full certification. Well, let's now um go through the benefits that you'll experience in this program. Before we do that, I see a question from Faye. How long is the certification? So um we'll we'll get, we'll get to that in just a moment, Faye. You um you can become a master certified healer be able to tackle just about any health problem or challenge. Master the art of business and finance. Start to generate a stable income to live and fulfill your dream, your life purpose. Break the cycle of, own, of working purely for money and being miserable. Live longer and experience better health. Manifest financial abundance. Do what you love and get well paid for doing it. Be part of activating the Earth's grids and of um, making a difference to humanity and the world. Clear up your own karma to speed up your ascension and your evolution journey. Help humanity's evolution and making your region a better and safer place. Mm, attract, um, have much more money so that you can enjoy life, have more fun and look after your family. Have the money to fix up your own pain and evolve yourself um, each day. <clears throat> then the last one, get the, um, get the possibility to even become a healer for awakening within, for us. <clears throat> so with this healing certification, now to answer your question, um, Faye, um, it's a three-month um, certification training. Um, uh, th so this is um, what you would expect to invest for a three-month transformative <coughs> program like this, um, which would be 5000 However, um, uh, today we're offering a, um, something special for fast decision makers. So um, uh, so this this is the investment we're offering today. Um, 2997 upfront or 800 per month for four months. And uh, on top of that, we also have a special bonus if you sign up for the training. <clears throat> you can receive access to our presently running medical medium program, which I'm running personally. Um, you, can, you can be a part of our Be Your Own Medical Medium program to actually um, broaden your healing skills even further. Um, we sold this for four ninety seven, and you can access it for free as well as access the replays. <clears throat> so um, uh, what we also have is a money-back guarantee in place where you can attend the first two classes, <clears throat> and if it isn't for you and it's not giving you the results you hope for, simply let us know any time before the third one and we'll gladly give you a prompt and courteous refund, no questions asked. Mm, Moria, oh, <clears throat> sweet potential opportunities. Yep, absolutely. Um, so um the the way the, the way the way that um the way to um be part of this healing certification program is a bit unique. Um uh, to do that, if you're interested in discussing this further, um you can apply by booking a call with us. Um this here is the link to book a free, no obligation, thirty minute discovery call. Um, where uh, where you can get a call with me personally, I'll run through the whole certification program, and that uh, you can then join uh, with that. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, you, you can email me personally at william at theawakeningwithin dot net. So um, the team has now put the discovery call link in the chat where you can book your call and apply for the program. Now um. Uh, just type a Y in the text chat if you're interested in having a call and joining to um, discuss joining the program. <clears throat> so, Gay, Janet, oh, yeah, brilliant. 
just so just to be clear, um, no, no, you guys don't need to sign up for it right away. That's why we deliberately set it up this way. So then that way, um, you can you can really um have that call, and then we can go through it properly, and uh, <clears throat> and it also helps us to decide if you're the right fit for the program. Faye and Janet and Maury, uh, <clears throat> Faye not currently. Yeah, <clears throat> that's no problem, Faye. And uh, Maury, uh, um, when does it start? So um, it'll be, it'll, um, honestly, um, we haven't set a start date as of yet. That's why we've got this discovery call, so that we um, once, once we have a few people sign up for this, then that's when you'll receive an email as to when it will be starting. Andrew, will there be an opportunity to join at a later date? Um, honestly, I couldn't say, Andrew. There may be, but there's no guarantees. I can't make any promises. And then, Faye, is it a weekly course? Um, uh, yes, it will be a um weekly a class um once a week. We'll do it once a week as a group, where I'll train and certify you in in like um Zoom calls like this each week. Fiona, can I access this recording of this evening's webinar? <clears throat> yep, you can, Fiona, once it's available. <clears throat> Lorraine, thank you, Knight. Yeah, no worries, Lorraine. Thank you. You have a good night. The telegram. Um, yes, you can access the telegram as well. Christy, thank you. I appreciate the information. No worries. Thanks, Christy. I'm glad you enjoyed the information. All right. So are there any final questions or comments before we end for today? Theo, thank you, William. No worries. Thanks, Theo. Gay, okay. thank you. Appreciate your time. Yep, no worries. I'm um, thanks, Gay. And um, Janet, just thank you. Yep, no worries. Thanks, Janet. Um, Andrew, understand I'm in the RV training as well, so not sure if I can take both on at the same time. Yeah, um, that's understandable, of course, Andrew. Um, like like I said, um, I'd be more than happy like to have um a call with you. You can you can have a free thirty minute no obligation call, and we can discuss further if that piques your interest. Up to you. Up the offers there. Um, and hey, thanks, William. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, Fiona. <clears throat> Thank you. No worries. Thanks, Fiona. Moria, no thank you so much of your time and reminders of what's possible. Yeah, that's all right. Um, uh, thank you, Moria. Appreciate it. What RV training? So RV, um, that would that's remote viewing. That's a uh, um entirely different program. Um, from this. And uh, Andrew, okay, always would like a chat with you. Thanks, William. No worries, Andrew. So you can book a call if you like. Then Michelle, thank you, William. I'm overwhelmed doing the SYW program and others. Not sure I can fit it all in. So same thing, Michelle. Um, it's um up to you, but feel free to book a free discovery call with me, and I'd be more than happy to work something out with you as well, or anyone else who um has that um um other commitment constraints. Then Faye, um, good night. Yeah, good night. Good night, Faye. You yeah, hope you have a good one. Okay. Well, um, uh, thanks. Um, uh, thanks again, everyone. I appreciate your time, your and the your effort and commitment that you took to attend tonight's webinar. So, um, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day, evening, wherever it is you are. And uh, I'll see you all um, another time.
Bye for now.